Okay. Yes, this skill know-how <coughs> is very, was when I was teaching at MIT, very important because the people at MIT didn't really know about it or understand it. I mean, they were on their way to PowerPoint without knowing it. They wanted, they wanted a list of the steps in the procedure for finding out something or other. Mm -hmm. and then I guess it all started about 1978, mm -hmm. and it started with a uh, Air Force psychologist, PhD, but he was in the Air Force uh, as a job, coming to BERT and having been told that BERT didn't like rule-based behavior and uh, thought there was something else going on in the brain than that, mm -hmm. and it was not a good way of teaching skill, and uh, asking BERT if he was interested in doing research mm -hmm. in that area, particularly on emergency response training of mm -hmm. pilots, and BERT said he didn't know anything about that issue. Yeah. And, but then he s thought about it and talked to me. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I don't know anything about emergency response by pilots, but I know how to drive a car. And I know how I learned and I know how I think I could, would respond mm -hmm. in an emergency. So why not go for it yeah. and uh, study that topic? Yeah. So that's how it all got started. So the advanced beginner can apply rules which appeal to features which are recognized through experience, mm -hmm. as well as features which are context-free. Right. So the rule can be more complicated, mm -hmm. and the advanced beginner, without noticing it, is using the kind of, uh, I don't know the best words for it, the kind of, well, it's really involvement Mm -hmm. without recognizing the involvement in the situation mm -hmm. that is necessary ultimately to get to the highest levels of skill.